Yesterday, I recorded a video on the best possible ways in which to get discounted ETH and maximize your yields up to 52%. And then, of course, the audio was absolutely unbearably bad. So today, I'm going to redo that video with better audio. If you already watched it, hopefully this one will be a little bit more pleasant. I'm Steven, the Calculator Guy, founder of DeFi Dojo Discord, and let's just dive right on in. So this is the ETH Repegor spreadsheet where I effectively monitor all of the depeggedness of the Ethereum LSDs. LSDs meaning liquid staking derivatives. If you don't know what those are, please go and watch one of my videos on uh, Ethereum LSDs or just LSDs, liquid staking derivatives in DeFi. So here in column C, what you see is the uh, the amount of the derivative you can buy for one ETH. So you can see here you can buy 1.086 ETH2 for one ETH. You can also redeem uh, one ETH2 for one ETH, which means you could take one ETH, convert it to 1.086 ETH2, and then after Shanghai, convert that 1.0869 ETH2 to 1.0869. 69 ETH, effectively making a free 0.0869 Ethereum, which is why the expected ROI here is 8.7%, which is really good because if you annualize that, assuming Shanghai happens in the next two months, uh, it's 52%. That's where the um, the number for this video comes from. Now, I talked about this play uh, at this point uh, about a month ago. And that was back when ETH2 was at 0.8 ETH. So if you got in when I did that video, uh, congratulations, you're already up more than 10%, about 13 to 14% uh, ROI denominated in ETH since then. So congratulations, there's still plenty of meat on the bone, in my opinion here. Remember that uh, the major risk here is indeed KuCoin, because KuCoin uh, owns Pool2. So if KuCoin fails, Pool2 fails as well, theoretically. Um, but you're really just betting on KuCoin staying solvent until after Shanghai. Now, you might be thinking, but but Stephen, after Shanghai happens, everyone can't just convert their LSDs back to ETH plus yield. Uh, there's going to be a queue. There's going to be a waiting line. It's not going to be instantaneous. I say yes, of course. I agree. But after Shanghai, what I expect to happen is that once that queue starts, faith in the redeemability of these LSDs will increase, which will push these pegs close to parity. Parity just means back to their uh, true market value, which is effectively this, right? Each one of these should be worth this. The ones that are worth one are what we call rebasing LSDs. Uh, so you just get more of them over time. They don't increase in value. The other ones are value accrual, uh, where they just increase relative to ETH. That's why you see some that are one and some that are above one. All right, let's look at our ETH really quickly. I'm going to have to go back to Curve. Uh, because, uh, dumb, uh, stinking recording stuff. Uh, let me not be salty. You know, I, it's it's a blessing that I get to do this. Um, so even if I have to redo the video, honestly, I don't mind doing it. Uh, I have like the coolest job ever. So anyways, ETH here, we're going to convert that to our ETH, our ETH being uh, not Rocket ETH, which is this one, but Staffi ETH, which is this one. Now you can see I have 1.05 because I converted one ETH. Uh, earlier and that's how much I got. Now I think the peg is a little bit different. Yeah, it's down to 1.039. You know, I did this video yesterday. It was slightly better, better deal for you guys. But of course the audio was absolute garbage. So I am sorry. I apologize. Uh, wish that audio wasn't so bad. Anyways, still plenty of meat on the bone here. Let's um let's look at what the new uh, discount is. Oh, 1.039. That's that means it's better, right? Let's see. 1.039. Yeah, that's great. So here is actually a larger discount. Maybe you've benefited by me waiting a day. Uh, and this can handle a bit of, so ETH2 and our ETH can handle up to like 100 ETH without moving the needle too far. You're still gonna have nice discounts. You're still gonna make a good ROI, but like stake ETH from persistence, you throw like two ETH in there. You're pushing that thing near peg. This one's really for like smaller accounts. Um, now persistence has been around for a while. I don't, I don't have anything wrong with them. I think they, you know, they're multi-chain liquid staking protocol. Uh, they're, they're perfectly fine. Anchor, they had that recent exploit, but they made everyone whole to the best of their ability. Um, so just quickly on like the risks of these, uh, there have been two major exploits on liquid stake derivatives, one on Stater's Near and the other one on Anchor's uh, 
I think it was A, B, and B, C, or it was anchor B and B. In those situations, the good thing is that all of the staked assets are safe. So those cannot be stolen or exploited. They're literally staked and it would, it would take days to unstake them, sometimes weeks to unstake them. The issue is that the receipt token, whether it be uh, STK ETH, um, or in the actual examples, uh, near X, can get minted effectively into oblivion and that and they can use those minted uh, derivatives to go drain the liquidity pool. So the people in the LPs get hit pretty hard who are just staking, like all of the, their staked assets are still there, still staked. And so what these protocols do is they just make a, a, a new contract and you know everyone is made whole effectively. But the protocols generally do have to go out of pocket to redeem the liquidity pool providers. Luckily, none of what we're doing, none of what we're talking about in this video has anything to do with providing liquidity. Uh, so just you know to, to be aware of the risks. Staffi also not a gigantic protocol. They only have, I think, something like 30 million um, AUM. So 32, 35 million. Uh, it's not nothing, but they're they're a smaller protocol. Their audits, they have a few audits. Um, they're like Certic or Peck Shield. Nothing that you would go wow, but nothing terrible. They have a very active and vibrant community, uh, so I like them. But again, you know, they're on the on the riskier side. So let's finally talk about my favorite position, uh, which is CBE. Now CBE yesterday for the very first time finally went above one ETH. So right now, CB ETH is worth more than one ETH. And this hasn't happened in months, in a very long time. And the reason for this is Euler. If you don't know Euler, which is named after the mathematician Leonard Euler, uh, who, who, who gave us the symbol for pi, amongst many, like that's not why he's famous. He was a brilliant mathematician. Anyways, the Euler protocol allowed you to collateralize CB ETH yesterday actually the day before yesterday technically but it wasn't announced until yesterday uh but you know the mods in the discord we were on that um even before euler announced it which is pretty cool and the best part about this uh if you don't know is uh what you can do with that so you might think okay but i can collateralize wrap stake ETH. i can collateralize stake ETH. uh what's so special about being able to collateralize this coinbase ETH? why are you so excited about this why does that mean that everyone is buying up coinbase ETH? well let me tell you, the reason why everyone is buying up Coinbase ETH is because this means you can loop it. This means you can leverage it. This means you can take that 2% DPEG and rank that up, leverage that up, crank that up, I think I meant to say crank the first time, to about 5 to 6%. Uh, you can lever this, I'd say 2.5x pretty safely. And that's remarkable. Um, so here's how you do it. If you don't know what liquid staking, liquid staked looping is, uh, join the DeFi Dojo Discord. We talked about that months ago with like uh, ST Solana Solana, and we were making like 35% for for months. Delta neutral, by the way. But this is this is not delta neutral. This is like delta exposed to ETH. Same strategy though. What you're going to do is you're going to take your CB ETH. Well. First, you want to buy CB ETH because you're getting that discount, that nice 2% because uh, it's depegged. So you take your ETH, buy CB ETH, right? Wonderful. You've already sort of locked in 2% uh, discount. Then you take your CB ETH, bring it over to Euler, deposit it. Then you're going to borrow Rept Ethereum against it, convert that Rept Ethereum to CB ETH, and then just repeat the process. Deposit CB ETH, borrow Rept ETH, convert to CB ETH. Deposit borrow, convert, deposit, borrow, convert, deposit, borrow, convert. And you might think that's a lot of gas fees. That's a lot of hassle. Well, Euler, which is an amazing protocol, by the way, allows you to do this all at once. Every single part of this transaction at once. So I'm going to show you how, because, you know, I love educating. Uh, and then, you know, you can do it at your own, at your own risk. What I will say is please don't push this leverage all the way to the very end. You can push it to like 2.75 X but then you're literally like a 1% DPEG away from having a partial liquidation, which is not fun. Now the partial liquidation might not be a huge penalty. I talked to the Euler guys yesterday and they said like the, the liquidations are, are bid on in like a Dutch auction sort of manner, uh, which favors the liquidated to some extent. And you might only get like a tiny penalty, but nevertheless, you don't want to get liquidated. So I recommend a health factor of, of 1.05 at least, but let's just, let's just dive right in. So, you click quick action, and the first thing you want to do is deposit that CB ETH. Uh, very easy. So you'll go over to CB ETH and you'll deposit. I don't have any right now because I've already done this. Uh, you know, max, and then click deposit. And what that will do is it'll pop up something on the right side. You'll see sort of like your transaction log. Uh, it'll pop up over here. Now, 
after it's popped up there, go down to short long. This is where you do the looping automatically. You know that you want to borrow wrapped Ethereum and sell it for CPETH. So you're shorting wrapped Ethereum to long CPETH, right? So what are you shorting? Wrapped Ethereum. What are you longing? Coinbase ETH, CB ETH. Bada bing, bada bang. Uh, now you can't, I don't know why they even have this max here. You, you can't do it. You will, it's farther than, it doesn't make any sense. It's farther than liquidation. Uh, so, you know, again, what I recommend is going until your health factor uh, is 1.05 and that'll appear like right here. Uh, I haven't connected my wallet so you can't see mine. Oh yeah, I have. Yeah, so you can see my health factor, if I, if I were to leverage even more than I already am, would be 1.01. I don't want to do that. You want your health factor to be at least 1.05. That gives you a 5% buffer in case of CB DPEG. Now, it could DPEG more than that, right? It could. You, you could still get liquidated. All I'm saying is, uh, like, just for, for my own sanity, give yourself some buffer. Understand the risks. Know what you're doing. Don't, like... Don't say, well, you said 1.05 was safe. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that gives you a 5% DPEG buffer, which would be relatively unheard of for CBETH, uh, given we're so close to Shanghai. It would it would require some sort of black swan event, which could happen. And then you click short, and it'll pop up here. Actually, let me do that again so you can, you can literally see it. Uh, click short. If it'll let me do it. Oh, one other thing you definitely want to do is go to your swap settings and put that put that slippage down to 0.1%. Do 0.05%. I don't care, but like make sure you're not doing the the base 0.5% because uh, you don't have to. There's plenty of liquidity for this. It's probably going to get routed through Uniswap v3. There's absolutely no reason for you to uh, to pay more slippage than you have to. So you know, reduce that slippage before you go through this. Then click short, and then you're going to see see this transaction build is going to pop up. For you, it will have that top transaction, which is like the deposit of CBETH. Then it'll have that uh, that looping transaction underneath it. You can go to the bottom, send all transactions at once, which is really cool. Um, pay once for gas, the entire loop, the entire strategy done all at once. Really remarkable, uh, quite amazing, and um, and I love it. So, so there you go. And that strategy should net you roughly between five and seven percent ROI in CBETH uh, in two months. And if you want to really break down that math, um, it's pretty simple. Basically, you're getting uh, 2.5x leverage on the supply APY, which is like 10% and then 10% two months of 10% is something like 1.25% uh, plus the DPEG leverage up by 2.5, which is two times 2.5, which is something like six something. Anyways, that ends up being roughly 8%, but then you have to take into account that you're paying about 1% uh, annually to borrow wrapped Ethereum, um, but you're also getting like Euler emissions, so it ends up, that's that's why it's 1% instead of 3.5%. You're going to have to sell those Euler emissions at some point though. Regardless, like best case scenario, you're going to get around 7 to 6.5%. Worst case scenario, you're probably aiming for 4 to 5% ROI. Still really good for Coinbase ETH. Coinbase ETH can handle millions of dollars and not move the needle too much. Um, unlike the other ones, it can only really handle a few hundred thousand or even only a few thousand in the case of STK ETH. Uh, so, so that's it. Really, these are, these are great annualized yields. If you want to delta neutralize them, feel free to. Uh, I was looking at MEXC, very positive funding rate, uh, so which is nice. I'm sure the funding rate is probably even more positive right now. And, you know, Delta Neutral, Delta Neutral, you still get some great ROIs. Uh, if you want to learn how to do that, if you want to talk about doing that, go ahead, join the DeFi Dojo Discord. We have uh, some of the best strategists in all of DeFi. They're now competing for best strategies, which is amazing for cash prizes. And I mean, we're doing stablecoin strategies. We're doing uh, Delta Neutral strategies. We're doing now long strategies. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll love it. First month is free. If you don't like it, don't pay. Hope to see you there. I'm Steven, the calculator guy. Please have a wonderful rest of your day.